Crack the power challenge with this challenge. We're going to be, uh, I guess it says, we received an encrypted encrypted message. The module is built from prime large enough that factoring them isn't an option, at least not today. See if you can make sense of the numbers and reveal the flag. And we get three hints. We get when certain values in the encryption setup are smaller than usual, it opens up unexpected shortcuts to recover the plain text. Consider when you can invert the encryption without factoring in and the read more about coppersmith attack. So it's telling us that we need to use the coppersmith attack. The reason being is because if we check the message, uh, if you press the download, oh, I'll just press it again. I already downloaded it so many times when trying to solve this challenge. So with this challenge right away, you see we get the given values N, E, and C. So if we go back to our thing right here, it says try out the coppersmith attack. And if we go back and check the text, it says E is small, E is 20. So E usually is like 65537 in RSA. So what value is usually E RSA? I think it's 65537. Yeah, 5537. So what if I have a small E? Public is consists of typical public key, small exponent. A very small exponent like 3 is vulnerable, which using improper no pass is allowed to such as to write on using the same. A small exponent can speed up encryption process. So, small e and then type copper smith because that's what I mentioned. And in modern RSA, the implementation is set to 5665537. While which is while the other values can be used, a small exponent like e three can become in particular order for improper. So using a small exponent like e can expose weaknesses in RSA. It does not lie in the core, but the implementation and handling of padding. So coppersmith attack variations. So there's multiple variations of it. But what we're going to be using is basically the small root attack. So it says the attacker works on finding a small integer root of a polynomial. For example, message M is encrypted as C equals M3. If M is small enough, the attacker might be able to compute the E root of C cover the integers directly or checking a few multiple times of N. So what does this mean? So an attacker... If M is small, the attacker is able to compute the E root of C cover integers directly. So what does this mean? Is basically when we cut like uh, root the C value, and that's the case. What we're gonna do? We're gonna we have the C value already here and we're going to try finding the 20th root of it. So this could be easily done using uh, using Python and using a specific library. And a very popular one is called uh, Gimpy2, which is usually used for these kinds of of, uh, of, of challenges so if we go back right here and since i already solved this let me remove my old solve file so rm solve.py and just work this from scratch so nano solve.py so what we're gonna uh, if i was being edited no now let's rm so nano solve.py So we have nano small dot pi. So we're gonna import this library. G M P Y two. And then we're gonna have our C values, which we're gonna get from our challenge right here. Our C and our E value since we already have it. Paste it right there. And now it's basically just doing the root of it. So you could probably just do root. 
exact is equal to gimpy dot i root c and e now if it's not exact then uh print not found else we're gonna print out our values as so gonna print out our roots the Python 3 solve that pi and this is basically the value so now with this we have it as an int now we need to convert it to hex and then back to ASCII so that's where things become a little bit more tricky so we're gonna do print root to byte and then we're gonna do root dot bit and we had to break this down into multiple pieces and that's why we're doing plus seven and then we're gonna do divided by eight and then we're gonna convert it back to big and then from right here we're just gonna decode our value back into ask uh, to a string decode so now if we run this python3 solve.py we get the challenge so let's break this down so firstly we want to be able to break this down into let's see To bytes, So we get too big to convert, so we can just simply do something like this. Okay, so so basically what we did with the whole division part and everything like that was that we had to break it down so if we copy this root bit length to seven to eight that's basically is a is basically a way of um converting is basically a way of like conversion of bytes from my understanding so, cause since we know the integer is going to be positive either way, or like the answer that we got was a positive integer, we needed to turn this into bytes so that we can understand it because or else we'll get MP size too big to convert by itself. So that's why we needed to break it down. 
and that's the whole reason why we were able to do that we, with this we were able to break it down by a lot and from there we were able to i guess uh, decode it back into this literal string where we could just copy and paste it and it should solve us the challenge but yeah that was basically the coppersmith attack that they were explaining to us so yeah that's about it hope you guys learned something new today i know i did and i'll see you guys in the next one peace